this is Tara. Welcome to the Paper Snob. I want to thank you for stopping by my channel today. This month, for the month of May, there is a YouTube hop going on all month long called May I Scrap Lift You? And I have been meaning to participate, but I had some company at the beginning of the month and spending time with my son whom I have not seen for almost three and a half years was more important than scrapbooking. I know, right? Not even a close call though. Anyway, so I'm gonna be scrap lifting Scrap Dolly and I will be putting the layout that I chose from her Instagram up in the corner and I will also link you up to her social media. Please give her some love. She's got some amazing creations on her Instagram feed. It was kind of hard to choose just one, but I chose one um, that was kind of a fall layout for her. And I am pulling out my 49 and Market Plum Grove to create it. And I'm gonna have to force myself to cut into this. Like seriously, y'all, ah, <laughs> love this paper. It's so pretty and so hard to cut into. I'm also going to be using these photos from a wine tour that my sister and I went to while she was visiting me when we still lived in New York State. We headed down to the Finger Lakes, did a hike to the Taugahannock Waterfall, and then on the way home, we stopped at wine, um, at wineries. My husband was driving, so we were able to do tastings and it was a good time. Now, of course, I have more photos here than I'm actually going to use. As you saw, that layout only has three photos. <clears throat> so I am going to have to choose and that's going to be kind of tough. So anyway, let's get started. talk about what I have done so far and what I have left to do. Well, first off, I need to take off my branding strip, but that's not what's important. I backed my cut file. I used three of the holes for photos, and then I used the six by eight plum grove pad, um, paper pad to, to back the rest. This one is actually the smaller version of this one here. Then of course you saw that I put some mixed media on there and the next step for me is I'm going to poke some holes and I'm going to do some stitching. I will do that stitching off camera. So I will be right back. So here's a little sneak peek of what it looks like after I have poked holes in my layout. So let's go over what I've done so far. So far I have added the stitching and I have made sure that everything is adhered. Of course, I didn't need a whole lot of glue since I was gonna stitch it and I only put glue on the middle. And now I'm going to add my title. I'm using this purple pink fresh studio font. Um, I believe this is from their Days of Splendor collection and I have like three sets of these because yours truly bought two of the last warehouse boxes and I ended up with two of these, which is fine. Purple is a hard color to come by. I just wish that this font wasn't scripty. I kind of have trouble with it and you'll see when I get to the end, I'm sitting here going, um, or to the U, for when I put the word tour down, I'm like, um, what 
where's the use on this sucker? I even picked up the one that I hadn't used very much of and looked and I'm like, okay, are the U's and the V's the same? Because they look the same. Anyway, I am gonna have to completely adhere this title down as typical with puffy stickers. They need extra glue. So I will be going through and gluing each letter down off camera. I did glue that T down because it would not lay flat and I wanted to get a good idea of what it was going to actually look like. There I'm searching for that U and I'm like, okay, where's the U? So I just take an, an N and I turn it upside down and I trim off one of the tails to make it a U because I was like, um, this isn't working for me. So anyway, this is part of a series of photos that I took when my sister, husband, and I went down to the Finger Lakes in New York State. And on the way back from the waterfalls, we stopped at, I think, three wineries. We didn't do a whole wine trail thing because good grief I didn't want to get drunk that day and I'm kind of a lightweight with wine maybe not as much as as others but I would have been bombed out <laughs> so anyway and you know I didn't really want to be out all day we were kind of dirty from our hike to begin with and not really dressed for a fancy wine tour and some of the people at these tours were dressed up really nice so we kind of felt out of place Anyway, I typed my journaling and I cut it out into strips and I popped it up with some foam adhesive and same with the little date. And now I'm gonna start building my embellishment clusters. Now I pre-punched um, out all of the little laser cut die cuts. Guys, if you have not handled these die cuts before, these are so detailed and so pretty. And so I'm gonna layer up a few of them. That bottom um, purple floral fauna leaf bit, I only put glue on the bottom half because I'm gonna use some glue dots to pop up the top piece. Um, no worries, it'll go ahead and adhere just fine, but I'm adding the foam, fun foam to the back of, the, of most of the elements with this. So you might be asking yourself why I didn't wait to do the hand stitching until after I got my embellishment clusters down. Because as you can see, I am covering up some of my stitching. The reason for that is with these delicate die cuts, I prefer to just do all of my stitching first and I don't tend to guess where things are gonna go. So I just do all of it and then it just gets covered up. And I personally am okay with that. I like to hand stitch. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, I don't have carpal tunnel or any injuries or anything. So hello kitty. Um, anyway, I just, I don't mind covering up some of the stitching. And in fact, there's like a tiny, tiny mistake on one of the hexagons where I didn't punch or punch the hole in the right place um, with this grouping of hexagons it was kind of hard to guess where the points were on some of the ones that are very close together I thought I did a pretty good job with that but I there were a couple of places where I slightly got that hole off kilter from the point and that's where you want to do um, a shape like this. You want to do all of the points first and then fill in the lines in between. Kind of like you would do the two points of a heart first or all of the points on a star first before doing the holes in between. And the reason for that is if you don't do it that way, you're going to end up with stitching that looks wonky. And um, while some things I don't mind wonky, I don't really like it when my stitching looks wonky. I'm kind of a fly by the seat of my pants with the stitching to begin with. I don't usually use a ruler. I don't measure the holes or anything like that. Typically, I just eyeball it. So I'd like to get my points and my lines as straight as humanly possible. So anyway, I'm just gonna kind of finish up getting these little embellishment clusters on here. And as you can see, I'm using the fun foam adhesive that I keep cutting down to fit my flowers. I have several little scraps of this on my desktop that I've been trying to get used up. I'm also gonna be using some of these glue dots under bits because I wanna pop up 
the pieces that are underneath the main piece that I put on fun foam just to lift it off the page a little bit. I also have a little butterfly that I'm gonna add right here and I'm just gonna use one foam dot on the butterfly. I'm gonna place it and then I'm gonna flip up its wing just a little bit. And then from here, I'm gonna clear my space just a little bit because I'm gonna bring in my white linen delusion spray and I am going to put some white splatters on this layout as a finishing touch. I really enjoyed scrap lifting this layout and I hope that you can definitely see the um, where I took the inspiration on the original layout. I'll pop that up here again for you so that you can see. Um, I didn't have her cut file and I don't know where she got her cut file from. So I just used one that was similar and tried to get my photos in a similar place on the layout. So basically I just took inspiration from her her layout. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, click that thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, I would absolutely love it if you subscribed. If you have any questions or comments about anything that I did on this layout, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll answer you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you and you have a great day. Bye.